Disney Dreamlight Valley's next big update is just a couple of days away. With the new announcement, they snuck in a lot of fun secrets hidden away. Let's go over them and uncover what the update will hold. The first more obvious one is that there's going to be a new realm. We'll have a Lion King realm with Scar, but what about the other fuzzy friends of the Lion Kingdom? If we look at the other realms, the only others that had exclusively one character to unlock was Ratatouille and Wally. -E. All the rest of them had multiple characters. While Scar may be the only one in the realm, it is more likely that other Lion King characters will join, if not right away, then after unlocking them in quests. A major hint towards this is the multiple entrances to housing or extra areas in the sunlit plateau. Right near the front, you can see some iconic bones indicating the elephant's graveyard, where Scar and the hyenas kept their lair. Currently, there's a rock blocking the entrance, but that will probably be removed with the update of Scar, and this being the most likely place to find him lurking. There is also a waterfall area resembling the place where Simba can be seen growing up in the movie alongside Timon and Pumbaa. It's also very reminiscent of where Simba and Nala had reconnected. This is the perfect spot for them to make their appearance or hide away the way Elsa does in her snow cavern. There is a blocked bridge in order to get over there, so there might be an additional update later to be able to unlock this area if it's not included in this one. As long as eventually we can axe through these old bones, access there would make sense for extra characters. Speaking of that blocked bridge, currently you can't cross the bridge, but you can sneak around it. But when we look at the water at both the creek by the bridge or the pond on the other side, you'll notice that they're empty. Yes, you can catch for basic fish in the pond and river, but there are no glowing spots for you to catch the biome-specific fish. It's safe to speculate that when this update happens, not only should we gain access to this area easier, but the pond hopefully will be populated with new fish. There has been some news about the companions changing in the newest update. This one was based on a Twitter poll earlier this month, and they asked, would you like to be able to interact with your animal companions? If you look at the third result, it says, yes, in the next update. Why would they include that if not to say our companions will definitely be interactable? That being said, we don't know what they mean by interactable. My guess is that you'll be able to pet your pet, and it would probably give the same animation as when you feed it something it likes. If we're lucky, the idea would be that it would help by picking things up like our pumpkins when we decide to go farming. Whether you can pet it, feed it, or play with them, it's still pretty exciting to see these pets do a little more than just chase you around and look cute. There's also been a sneaky drop in the Discord server server news, and it can be applicable to the game, and it looks like things are getting a bit festive. In the game newsroom, the community manager Ryan posted this treat. Oh hey there game news, how would you like a midweek teaser of something in the next update? Take a little look at the server emotes. And when we peek over, we can see some jack-o'-lanterns and Mickey pumpkin decor that'll probably be making its way to the update. I'm curious if these will be craftable items with the pumpkins we've all been growing, or a purchasable item through Scrooge's shop, but either way it's pretty festive. The last thing I want to touch base on is the upcoming star path. We don't know what types of items will be it or what the theme is, but hopefully they feature some Lion King items in some way. Based on the Pixar path being more broad and including multiple movies, perhaps Disney Dreamlight emphasizing things being villainous will include lots of villain themed items, which I am totally all about. What are you looking forward to in the next update? Are you team villains or team heroes? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to boop the like button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!